What's going on guys, Texan Effect back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a quick RAM upgrade on the HB, HP Pavilion to be exact. Real simple to do, real easy. So if you have a older model HP and it's running slow, you probably have the capacity to upgrade the RAM. This particular HP came with 12 gigabytes of RAM available to expand up to 16 gigabytes so i'm going to add a four gigabyte upgrade to it that will give me 16 gigabytes if you're into doing video editing photos photoshop you may need more ram space for those type of programs to work properly in the case of this hp definitely need a ram upgrade so i'm going to add four more gigabytes to the 12 that already exist to see if we can make this thing run faster. First thing we want to do, we want to flip the computer over on the back side and you're going to have five screws. Depending on the model of the HP, the screws could be, it could be a screw in the center and you, they may be visible. This particular HP has a screw right here one two three up here there should be a rubber tab right here i just took mine off because they were annoying four and five so we're going to remove these screws come back and try to lift the top off real quick this two right here, you can find them at a Dollar General or Family Dollar. It's like an eyeglass um, repair kit. Comes with multiple different types of screwdrivers here. This is all you need. Don't have to spend a lot of money. I think they gave me, yeah, they gave me five different screws. So let me remove the screws. I'll be right back and we'll keep it going. That's one screw I've already taken out. This is the second one right here. I'm gonna remove it and put the screws in a place where they won't get lost. I'm putting mine on a piece of white paper so I can easily find them when I go to looking for them. Just the third screw right here. On my particular, on this particular HP, I was trying to render some 4K video and it was real choppy. And after doing a little research, I realized that I needed more RAM. So hopefully after I Get this RAM installed. I already took that one out, took those out already. Hopefully after I get this RAM installed, my 4K video will render better and make the editing process that much easier. Okay, now that I have all the screws out, the next thing we need to do is pry off the back cover. Um, some in some videos, you will see that they use a spatula. Since I don't have a spatula available, I'm going to use a flathead, a miniature flathead screwdriver. And you just want to start in this seam right here. You want to start, and then you just want to pry it out little by little, piece by piece. Take your time. Don't go too deep into it with the screwdriver. Just want to pry that out. And once you start prying it out, you see I can put a finger in there to keep it open. And then you just want to go all the way around the computer. You want to go all the way around the edge. I'm using my new PS5 as a workbench or a workstation right now. So just keep going around the edges. Flip the computer over. Right there, you see that opening? 
just want to keep going around the edges be really careful with that and as you can see once it start prying you can pretty much just use your fingers to gently get it apart let me flip it back over you just want to use your fingers to gently gently and I mean gently because I had a damage I had a small hairline crack right here in the um, back cover so when I get to that part I'm just gonna take my screwdriver and I'm just gonna pry that up a little bit so we'll be back to that so I have to inf keep emphasizing that you want to take this back cover off gently okay now that the back covers off as you can see right here these are my two RAM slots to my surprise one of them is already it looked like I have two sixes in here so what I would really need is to take one of these sixes out and replace it with a 10. Very easy to do. Okay, so right here we have two spring loaded arms. Here's one, here's two. We All we have to do is gently move them back and outward. So let's see if we can get these spring loaded arms moved and it will pop up. Gently pull out your memory card. This is already a six, so I need to put a 10 in there and you just place it right back in place. Make sure it's in there secure. If you see any of the gold, if you see any of this gold part, it's not all the way in. So we want to make sure that that's all the way in. Once it's all the way in, you're going to push down and it'll snap right in place. There you have it. Real simple, real easy to do. And while I'm in here, I'm going to clean out my fan, get some of that dust off the fan, because this right here, if you can look really good, I'll just take a Q-tip and clean some of that dust off of it because that keeps the computer running cool versus running hot. Real easy to do, guys. Also, if you wanted to replace your battery, this is your battery right here. There's one, two, three, four screws to replace it and a little um, like a pin set that goes inside of that. That's how you can replace your battery. That's easy to do. If you would like me to do a video on that, just leave a comment in the comment section. Until the next time, talk to you guys soon. Put the cover back on in the same order it was taken off and enjoy your RAM upgrade.